Cloud has been released for quite a while now, and similar to other DLC characters, he's pretty unique. So today, I'm gonna cover the combos, mix-up, and other tricks he can pull off. Let's start off with low percent combos. Unfortunately, Cloud can't get much mileage out of his throws, but he does have one guaranteed follow-up from around 0 to 10%, depending on weight, which is a down throw into turnaround jabs. This mostly works on characters who do not have a counter, but the turnaround jab must be executed immediately after the down throw, or they will be able to shield or jump out. Down throw to cross slash is a good mix-up between 0 to 20%. It can be shielded or air dodged, but if they miss, then you've put on some hefty damage. At mid percents, your best bet is going for a running short hop neutral air, which can catch them if they jump. Though if they air dodge, you can quickly grab them on landing. If you have limit charge, down throw to neutral air is actually a true combo at around mid percents, all thanks to the boost and running speed Cloud gets. Up tilt is a great move for comboing. At low percents, if you land a grounded up tilt, you can link two or three more depending on weight. After this, you want to do a neutral air, then fast fall it. This can cover the jump option. If they air dodge, a fast fall should allow you to land in time for a punish. From about 40 to 80 percent, up tilt can true combo into an up air. Speaking of up air, well, fast fall up air to be exact is one of Cloud's best combo starters. It can lead into almost anything. If you want something simple and strong, it's going to be a fast fall up air into a cross slash. This will work from about 0 to 60 percent, but it becomes more difficult to land the higher the percent. A fail proof follow up is Climb Hazard, which works from 0 to about 70 percent. If you do this near the ledge, the opponent will get meteored. Though make sure to jump before up being to give yourself enough distance so Cloud will grab the ledge on the way down. Up air can also lead into up tilt strings mentioned earlier, or an up air into an up air. If you're feeling confident, there's a finishing touch kill confirm at around 30% from a fast fall up air. After the up air, jump up and footstool them, then immediately input a down air, then slightly fast fall it so the animation ends before you touch the ground. If done correctly, you should suffer no landing lag. Instantly jump up with a finishing touch for the kill. <laughs> Weak down air itself can also combo into a limit break between about 40 to 100%. If you have your limit charged, a fast fall up air can lead into a finishing touch as well from about 30 to 60%. Aside from comboing down air into a finishing touch, from about 0 to 60%, you want to connect a cross slash if you don't have limit charged. When percents get higher, go for a forward air or up air. In terms of approaches, one of Cloud's best aerial approach is neutral air, mainly because it outranges a lot of other moves. If you manage to catch the opponent with a close-up following neutral air between about 0 to 30%, you can catch them with a dash grab or a down smash. At percents a bit higher, a dash attack. Between about 30 to 50%, if you land a short hop neutral air while moving forward, you can combo into up tilt strings. At 40 to 70%, jabs or dash attacks. Cloud's back air is very safe on shield if you land with the edge of the sword, which makes it a great spacing tool. If you manage to land a close-up one, there are a bunch of things you can follow up with, such as grab, jabs, dash attack, down tilt, or cross slash. Because of how long Cloud's down tilt animation is, there isn't much it can combo into other than climb hazard, which works between 0 to 20%, though you must get them with the late part of the down tilt. Finishing touch is Cloud's biggest trump card because of the knockback, of course. Hence, knowing good setups can mean an early lead for you or a huge comeback. At the lowish mid percent range, a moving forward short hop neutral air can lead into a finishing touch mix up if they miss their tech. At about mid percents, a close up fast fall neutral air can lead into a finishing touch if they miss the tech. As a recovery move, Climb Hazard isn't that great because of its lack of invincibility and sweet spot. Though once you do make it back on the ledge, using it once or twice can be a nice tool to fend off your opponent due to the range and speed of the move. The effect is similar to Ike's up B. You can also cancel the first hit of Climb Hazard by doing it slightly above the ledge. If spaced correctly, you should see only the initial part of the move. Not only can this fend off opponents too close to the edge, but it can also lead into a follow-up. Climb Hazard can also be used for edge guarding. By executing it at this height or higher, you'll be able to sweet spot the edge on the way down. As for ledge trumping, Cloud can follow up with a guaranteed back air if done fast enough. If you find it hard to ledge trump with Cloud normally, input an up B right after you run off, and you'll sweet spot it automatically. If you're able to, it's more advantageous to use Cloud's climb hazard from up high to reach the edge. It's much safer than trying to sweet spot from the bottom. A full blade beam can be useful for fending off or stalling your opponent's edge guard if you must recover low. Now let's delve into more detail regarding Cloud's limits. Besides manually charging, receiving 100% or dealing 250% will fully charge the bar. Once limit is charged, Cloud's running speed and fall speed are both increased. As mentioned earlier, this will allow Cloud to connect certain combos much more easily. 
Limit can be cancelled by pressing Special, Shield, Grab, Left or Right, or an attack. To cancel an attack, you must input the attack, then immediately hit Shield. This will also allow Cloud to essentially do a running smash attack, or tilt. You can also use Limit to cancel Cloud's dash grab animation, by running forward, pressing down Special, then immediately hitting Grab. If timed optimally, you'll see the Limit bar pop up, and Cloud will grab on spot without sliding. Besides ground combos, Cloud can hold his own when it comes to platforms as well. His back air can make opponents slide off platforms, which can lead into a forward tilt lock. After the lock, there are plenty of things you can follow up with. Also, the top of cross slash can lock as well. Well guys, that's all for today's video. Hope it helped, and with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Oh and by the way, if you have time, check out this Cloud speed painting one of my artists is working on.